guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, which is going to be my July reset. Filming my June reset last month was honestly one of the best things for me. and made me super motivated just to achieve my goals. It kind of gave me that pivot turn and change of mindset because I was feeling so stuck. I highly recommend that if you didn't join me last month, that you join me this month because sometimes you just have to take like a step back, got to reset your goals, look at what you want to achieve, look at your finances, then you can move forward. You know, when you're feeling a little bit stuck, you get me. Anyway, I really enjoyed filming last month reset. So I'm back with a July reset. How freaking crazy is it that we're in July? I think I said the same thing last month, but honestly, I can't believe that in four and a half months, I'm going to have a two-year-old. That is in sane. A two-year-old me. I'm gonna have a two-year-old. <laughs> anyway, I actually spent yesterday writing down my goals for July, but the good thing is because I did do a monthly reset last month, we can look back in my goals and we can see what I achieved and what I didn't achieve. If you did do it with me last month, this is the perfect time for you to do the same thing. Just have a look at everything you did achieve and what you didn't. And give yourself a pat on the back. Even if you achieved half of one thing, or even if you didn't achieve anything but you tried try to achieve it, give yourself a bath and a back. Life goes by quick and there are not many hours in the day and there is a lot of things that we want to accomplish. So be kind to yourself and be proud of anything you, you do accomplish. My June goals. So firstly, we'll have a look at my personal goals. The first one was read one book. Past that one with flying colors, let me tell you. I think within the first week of June, I was done with that book. It's really funny how you can get out of a good habit really quick, but you can get back into that good habit really quick if you've got the right mindset. For me, reading was always something that I grew up doing and I loved reading. My mum would literally drop me off at the library and pick me up hours later when I was a child. I was that kid. And it's crazy how much better I felt going to sleep after reading a book than if I went to sleep after being on my phone for an hour. My second one was create better lunches. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I think that lasted two days. I didn't keep going. That was too big of a goal for me. I need to like reassess that situation, look at it another day, move on, big cross. Um, create a better skin routine. I don't I didn't even do that. I didn't achieve that one. And in my last one, in my personal goals, it's print photos and make albums, which I did do. I printed my photos just in case any of you guys are wondering through the app Snapfish. And if you download that app, you get 50 free prints a month. You just have to pay for shipping, which was around like six to seven dollars. So you're printing them directly from your phone, like you're uploading them on your phone to this app. So the quality of the photos isn't that good. A good way to make memories if you don't have the budget for it. I didn't get around to making the albums, but I did print the photo. So I'm going to give that one a tick. All right, we'll go down to my socials. 600 subscribers on YouTube. We did it. We did. Thank you so much, guys, if you have subscribed all the way from the beginning or if you just subscribed now every subscriber I get brings a lot of joy a lot of joy into my life and I am so so grateful for it and um, my health goals was drink half a water bottle per day which again I think I'm gonna tick off I carried that water bottle around every day you can see it in the background right there. I just feel like I drank more water, which was the goal anyway. So gonna give that one a tink. My last one for my health goals was move my body every day. Again, I've mentioned that, that Charlie and I go for a walk every morning around the block. So that was easy, but I'm happy that was one of my goals. Okay, finances. I wanted to try a new budgeting system, which I did do. I looked into it, but only for like five minutes. Didn't like it and I moved on and stuck to my one. I'm gonna give that one like a tick, but I'm gonna carry that goal into my July goals. My next one was file my tax return which is like the biggest tick hallelujah so happy to take that one off and do five surveys this month I mentioned to you guys I do surveys on this company called big picture neighborhood or one picture neighborhood I didn't do five surveys on that one because one of you guys requested octopus group to me and I did five surveys on that one and honestly octopus group is so good because you do surveys and you see the amount of money that you get paid per survey I've done like five six surveys and I've got seven dollars already if you guys do want to check out Octopus Group, it is for Australia and New Zealand. I think it's mainly Australians, but New Zealand can do it as well. So don't get fooled if you're in New Zealand. It says like Australian surveys. You just have to change the number to be a New Zealand number and then you can log in and join up that way. But yeah, I'll leave the link down below. It's a really, really easy way to get money. Let's move on to my July goals. So again, with my July goals, I have done personal, social, health and 
and financial goals. We'll start again with my personal goals. We'll go through all the way until my financial goals. And then the last thing that we will look at is my June budget, how I tracked with that, and then look into my July budget. All right, so we'll start off with my personal goals. I wanna do 30 minutes free phone before bed. Like I mentioned, I have found such a difference in my mood and mind when I go to bed without scrolling on my phone. So I really want to try to do 30 minutes every night before bed. My next personal goal was, again, just to read one book. I carried that goal into July from June. Look, a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, what the heck, you don't do this. But um, I'm a busy person. We're all busy people. Please don't judge me. My personal goal is to vacuum my bedrooms every three days. Yeah, I don't do that every three days. I probably do it once a week. So I've set that as my goal. My social goals. I want to upload one extra video this month. I aim to upload a new video each week. Um, I know that I've been really slack in the past, cough, cough, the last three weeks. But I want this video. I want these videos here, my monthly resets. I want them to be extra videos. It's a goal. We'll see what happens. I want to upload two shorts or two reels on my Instagram. I'm not an Instagrammer. I like shorts and I like reels. I like doing those quick little snappy videos. Is that something you guys like watching? Like I love reels on Instagram. I scroll through them and love them. My health goals is to do two big walks this month of over an hour as well as drink half a water bottle every day. Again this is another goal that I carried over from June. I just feel like this is another thing that I need to keep setting as a goal until it becomes second nature. My last one is to watch my iron, my energy. I am pescatarian and I probably don't include enough iron in my diet and I think feel very fatigued, very tired, especially around that time of the month. And I know it's my iron levels are super low. So I do have iron tablets or I have this iron supplement and I just need to not take that daily because I know that's unrealistic. I'm not going to do that. But when I'm feeling super tired and fatigued, I do want to watch that and just maintain my iron levels. Financial goals, we are getting there and then we can talk and look into my budget. So my financial goals are super quick. Make $20 on Octopus, which is that survey company I was telling you guys about. Out. I want to try a new budgeting system. Again, just carried that over from June. The last thing that I want to do is look at the way that I control my finances for my mini side business, which is so many goodies where I sell pre-loved clothing. I don't really have like a really good way that I'm tracking that money that goes in and out. So I want to look into that. That is my goals. Done. Let's look into my June budget and in my July budget. Okay, so if I quickly just open up my budget, if you guys didn't watch my June reset video, by the way, I highly recommend that you guys check that out. I do talk about my budget a bit more into depth than I will in this video. I kind of explain a bit about what my budget is. So yeah, definitely go check that one out if you guys haven't already. I have gone ahead and I've already written all of my June spendings, so we can just go through it together. Monthly breakdown for June was 2,800, which was the same as always. If we first look at my fees and insurance money, which is just a quickly recap you guys, that is the amount of money that I need every month for my yearly cost, which includes my insurance, my house rates, my wall, James car, my car, all of that stuff. I did spend $240 that month on power. I did mention that I buy power in advance and our water bill was $59.30, which is a bit more than normal. Um, Overall, there was $281 that I didn't spend, but as you guys recall, I need to put that into a specific savings account, which I have labeled monthly costs, I think and so that money is gonna go into that account and that is gonna be used when I have all of my final bills that come like my insurance and all that so for extra cost I had $500 allocated and I spent $400 $1.49 which left me with $98.51. It is so rare for us to ever go under in that section. Extra cost is everything for us. That's our phone bills, that's our shopping, that's us going out, like that's literally everything kind of falls under that. So we usually are not that much under but it's nice. We seem to have had a really low spending month this month which is nice. Just a little bit of extra savings. For petrol we had $600 allocated and we went $12.24 over. The reason we went over was because we traveled to my mum's in Whangarei, which is two hours away from where we live. That is obviously extra petrol that we don't usually use. So that is why we went over that month. Food, we had 550 allocated 
and we spent $505.68. We had $44.32 left over. Now this was a really low spending month for food and the reason that we had that was because my mum and dad, lovely, lovely people, they came over, they helped us with Charlie and they always bring us lots of meals that are already cooked that we can just chuck in the freezer straight away. That alone gave us a whole week where we didn't have to go food shopping. So bless you mum and dad and like I mentioned we did go to their house as well and we ate more of their food. Thanks mum and dad, you guys saved us money. So because we went under in both um, extra cost and our food, we were able to put $595.59 into savings, which is awesome. As always, I'm gonna put these costs into these little sections over here. So for savings, I get to put $595.59 for June. Our food, we spent $505.68. For petrol, we went $612.24. $4. Extra, we went $98.51. Insurance, we went $403.95. So now that that's all done, I'm just going to clear out this section, delete all of that, start all over again. I'm going to tweak this ever so slightly this month. And that is because one thing, we are traveling down to New Plymouth, which is a, like a five our drive maybe five and a half away from where we are we're gonna go visit my brother-in-law and his new baby and um we're gonna get an airbnb or like a hotel we are gonna be going out to restaurants we're gonna drive down that's gonna be a lot a lot of extra spending that we don't usually use so i'm gonna tweak that ever so slightly and put $700 in petrol so that I have $100 extra which hopefully can help cover that which would make that $365 of savings. To pay for the Airbnb I am going to take that out of our savings. It's just not possible to come out of this budget. I am just putting $100 extra in petrol and I am going to put uh, $200, $750 in food and that's because I know that we're going to go out almost every night and probably during lunch as well which means it's going to be $165 savings. So not that much that I'm looking at saving this month, but it's all right I would rather allocate more money in these other sections just so that we're not like super tight when it comes to the last week and a half of July that is our budget for July. All right, there you go, guys. That is my June budget, my July budget, my July goals. We've looked at my June goals. I want to know your thoughts now. Let me know if you'd like me to start including my monthly favorites in these videos. If there is anything in specific that you guys might want to see. If it's not monthly favorites or whatever it may be, just leave it down below. I'd love to hear that suggestion. Just love to hear what you guys may like to see from me. As always, I really appreciate all of you guys who are watching my YouTube videos, even if you just watched one video and this is the one thanks so much for watching it if you did like it please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and we'll see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.